Hello everybody, glad you could make it. So today is not the typical video that I would normally do on this channel. Today is not even a day that I typically upload videos, but I did want to just take a few minutes, hopefully not too long, to sit down and kind of explain a little bit about what's been going on. Because to be honest, a lot has been going on and I used to be quite, you know, well, I, I would say I used to be a lot more responsive on social media, I guess. By that, I mean kind of Instagram, YouTube, responding to comments, things like that. I used to be a lot more responsive, I think, you know, a couple of months ago than what I probably am now. So there are reasons for that. And I don't really know how to go about this video. I've kind of ummed and ahed about how to do it, but I'm just kind of going to tell you what's going on and what has been going on. Nothing really bad. Well, depending how you look at it, nothing really bad. Because I don't want you guys to think, you know, she doesn't respond to our comments. She doesn't care. Because that is honestly not the case. It's just, there's just so much going on in the minute. So I'm going to do my best to just give you a quick rundown as to what's kind of going on or what has been going on. And I'm going to try my hardest not to do too many like jump cuts and edits in this, but to be honest, the way I'm thinking about this right now, I'm completely kind of scatterbrained about it. So if I tend to waffle or I just talk about something too long, I probably will cut it. But just know that that's not really my intention. It's not that kind of video. So without further ado, I'll probably just explain kind of what's been going on. So I don't know how much, you know, people actually even want to hear this stuff because, you know, I run a plant channel and if it's not about plants, who cares, right? But I'm kind of going to do it anyway because why not? Why not just be honest? So I started my YouTube channel, I think, round about September or October, you know, late last year. So not very long ago at all. And I think the whole thing kind of blew up around January time. And since then, you know, we had the Jenna Marbles thing that was very unexpected. And everything just kind of blew up really, really quickly quickly. Like, I need you to know that my head has not adjusted to the sheer amount of people that watch my videos. You need to understand that. Like, in my head, I think I have like one or two thousand subscribers. It kind of blows my mind, to be honest. I guess since January time, I'm pretty sure, and this is really not an exaggeration, because if you know me in a personal sense, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I have not stopped working probably since New Year's Day. Um, literally, I work 16 hour days, seven days a week. Now I've had a couple of days off, you know, from work for different things, but it actually hasn't been to take a day off. I haven't had a day off in all that time. Um, I'm, I'm so run down and I'm so exhausted. Like every day I wake up, I genuinely feel my body is just screaming at me, telling me to slow down. And to be honest, telling me to stop. I mean, I'm not gonna stop, but that's, you know, a different thing entirely. I guess I'll, I'll describe a typical day in the life of me, okay? I think I get up at around about 6 a.m. every morning. Uh, I'll get up straight away, I'll go and tend to the plants. Now, due to the way that I water my plants, it actually takes a long time. So even just watering maybe six plants might take an hour, just due to the just not ideal setup I have going on downstairs. So I might do that. Uh, depending on what day it is, I might do some editing at 6 a.m. before I go to work. I will go to work at, you know, maybe quarter to nine because I don't have to walk very far to get there. But most of my morning is spent either editing, it could be planning a video, or it could be watering plants. I will then do, you know, half a day at work, say. If I stop to make a cup of tea at work, I will immediately start going through my socials, things like that. When lunchtime rolls around, all you guys at work know this and you all have a go at me for it, but I don't usually eat anything. I'm normally doing something else, either to do with business stuff, which I'll get onto in a moment, uh, YouTube channel stuff, so replying to comments, planning videos, uh, researching maybe the next video, maybe if it's a week where I have a rare plant index, kind of being planned, then that takes a lot as well. So generally I'll skip lunch and I'll do that. Sometimes I will have lunch, it kind of depends. I finish work at 5 p.m., I will come home, that usually takes about 15 minutes, and when I walk through the door, I will turn my computer on and I will immediately start to work again. Now I work with computers every day for my job. If anybody doesn't know, I'm a games programmer, so I program video games. My main passion is AI, so I basically make artificial intelligence for video games. So I do that during the day and then I come home and then I do whatever else needs done, you know, on the nighttime. So I'll usually be on the computer to maybe 10 p.m. maybe where, you know, I may have eaten during that time but I'll normally stop, I'll eat and then I'll get straight back to it. And I will work till about 10 p.m., sometimes 11, it really depends, and then I'll go to bed and then I'll wake up again at 6 a.m. every morning. I don't set an alarm clock anymore because I actually just wake up, which is kind of cool by the way. 
Um, I'm really happy to be able to do that. I don't know how I've ended up doing that. It just, my body clock, I guess, is just really firmly set. But it does mean I can't really go to bed past 11. Otherwise, I will just fall asleep. But I've been basically doing this since January and I've taken a few days off. Like very recently, I went to Holland. Um, I'll just be brief. That wasn't really a holiday. That was actually entirely business. So I didn't, I, ha I guess I had a bit of downtime, I guess, when I was in the hotel. But other than that, it was work all the time. Um, every time I take a day off, it's for work. If I've been behind on editing a video, uh, I will take a day off work, holiday, you know, to get that thing edited and put out. Now, please do not get me wrong. I absolutely love what I do. I love what I do for my day job. I love what I do for YouTube. And I love, well, every other thing that I have going on at the moment, which I will get to in a moment, I promise. I'm sorry for being cryptic about that, but it just, it doesn't make sense to bring it up now. As much as I really, really love what I do, it is making me pretty ill, actually. I don't feel well. I don't tend to look well. Uh, my skin underneath all this makeup is is not good <laughs> at all. I just have dark lines under my eyes. Sometimes I can see it when I edit my videos and I'm just like, oh, you tired. Like, <laughs> you need to slow down. But of course I can't because I have so much on. But uh, yesterday I actually left work early. I left at about 2 p.m. because OJ, my lovely friend from work, almost kind of sent me home, to be honest, because... I think, you know, a few people at work are aware that I have quite a lot on at the minute and he, he just said, like, you don't look good, you know, <laughs> go home. So I did. And you know what? I came home uh, and I wanted to rest really, really badly. And because today is Friday, so a video has just gone out uh, for anyone interested. It's the variegated Monstera video. Um, but I was behind on my uh, editing for that video for reasons that I'm going to go into in a minute as well. Um, so I came home, even though I was really ill, I just felt sick all day. And I came home and I still sat there and I still edited and I thought, you know what, I can get a couple of hours out, that's fine. I don't think it is fine, I think I need to slow down. But it's not just that at the minute, there are other life updates. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get into that. There are other life updates that I kind of feel that I need to tell you about because if I don't tell you about it, it's gonna be very, very, very weird. So I'm now gonna go into that. So we rent this house, uh, it's, it's actually a duplex, so it's kind of like half Half a flat, half a house, I don't really know. <laughs> you do. You decide which one it is, but it has an upstairs and a downstairs. That's not the point. We rent this place, we've rented it for just under a year. Our tenancy is up on the 25th of July, and we recently got an email as well as a letter through the post serving what is known as a Section 21 notice, which basically means you have two months to leave the property. And it's not for anything weird or anything like that. It's actually because the place that we are now renting has been sold to, well, some other buyer and they basically want to live here. So without any prior warning, uh, we kind of have to move out and we weren't expecting it. Uh, money is not great right now. Uh, money is not great right now because in order to catch up with all the editing and all the YouTube stuff and all the other stuff I have going on, I actually dropped a day at work. So I now work four days a week. Uh, so I've taken a big pay cut so that I can actually catch up on other things. So maybe that wasn't the best time to take a pay cut. I don't know, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll get through it. So with that said, we actually had to find somewhere else to live. So for the last week, at least, I have been basically looking for somewhere else to live. Only it's weird because I didn't think about this until, you know, this situation was kind of sprung on us. And that is when you normally pick somewhere to live, obviously everybody has requirements, right, of what they need. But since I now do what I do and I have all these plants and I have this YouTube channel and I have some of this other stuff going on, I can't just kind of rent wherever I want. It has to kind of fulfill really weird things that you wouldn't really think about, okay? It has to obviously fulfill light requirements. It has to obviously fill space requirements. Uh, definitely because since we've moved here, we've bought a lot more furniture and now I don't want to sell it. I'd like to take it with me. So we have to find somewhere big enough to actually keep all of this stuff which isn't great. In addition to that, obviously I need somewhere to film my videos. And I know you will notice now I'm filming this video in my bedroom and that is fine. However, just, I'm not gonna bore you, but just due to the way that cameras and lenses work and what type of camera you have, you do need a certain amount of space to actually film you know, videos. So in my case, I actually need a room of certain dimensions just due to the focal length on my camera and how much space I actually have to physically sit. So that's another thing. I won't bore you with all my, you know, flat requirements, but just know that there was a lot to kind of figure out and not a lot of time, to be honest with you. But as of what, yesterday or the day before, we have found somewhere we will be moving. I don't think it's going to be that long. I think it's going to be in two weeks time. 
uh, if all goes well anyway, I don't know. Um, providing we get that, we're going to be moving in around about two weeks' time. So things will change, not for the, you know, the worse, but, you know, my environment will change. Where and how I film might change. I might film in a completely different room. I might not film in a bedroom anymore. I haven't really decided yet. It kind of just depends on, you know, what I do with the space. Um, I may get rid of a lot of plants because I think I probably have too many. I had too many anyway, to be honest. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to get rid of some, and I think it's always good to do that every now and again. So I will get rid of some plants. Uh, I have a rough idea of what I might want to keep and what I might want to get rid of. But other than that, not really sure. I'm just going to kind of see how I go. So I wanted to tell you guys that, although that is a really, you know, not very nice thing, it's turned into hopefully a very positive thing and I get to move and I get more light and I get other things. I get a balcony now as well, which is really nice. I don't have a balcony here. I don't have any outdoor space. Not that a balcony is outdoor space, but, you know, it helps, right? It's fresh air. I just wanted to tell you all that in case, you know, you watch a video and you're like, oh my god, where did you go? Where are you? Where are all your plants? What happened? That is why. I'm not getting rid of all my plants. I think I've just made that sound like I'm getting rid of all my plants. I'm not, but there will be some that you don't really see anymore. So I just wanted to let you know because people don't seem to like it when plants go missing. I've noticed. If I, like, move one plant or, you know, you don't see it in a video, I get a lot of questions about it. And I'm like, damn, you've got some good eyes. So the final reason why I'm exhausted, and this is a good thing. It's just really, it's not a good time for all of this other stuff to be happening. But my good news and my big news is as follows. I put a lot of effort into, you know, finding about rare plants and sourcing them for myself so I can own them and all the rest. I'm very passionate about the subject. You know I am. You know, there was the oblique video. I poured like a month of my life into that video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I genuinely have a passion to collect rare plants, as you guys know. But I thought I would take it one step further and do something that, to be honest, I've wanted to do for a long time. I think I've wanted to do it since I've started, you know, properly having plants. And I have decided, and I am, opening a plant shop. Uh, not a physical shop, obviously it'll be an online shop, but I am opening a rare plant shop. And I am very, very, very excited. I'm not going to tell you anything about it right now, because honestly now isn't the time. And I didn't actually want to tell anybody yet. It's more, I feel like I have to say something, because I can't really do a life update and say, you know, I'm super tired. I've got all this stuff going on, but I can't tell you what it is because I can't, like, it doesn't make sense. So I'm kind of telling you now ahead of time. Uh, I am super, super, super excited for that, by the way. I'm currently, you know, in the midst of setting it all up, you know, getting my stock in and everything else. And as soon as that is ready, I will tell you everything in a video, you know, if you're interested, because you don't have to be interested in that sort of thing. That does not affect my YouTube. It is a completely separate entity. So please do not worry about anything of the sort. You don't have to, you know, buy from my plant shop to support me or anything like that. That's not what it is. So you can just throw that out if you like, but I'm just kind of telling you about something really cool that I'm working on and I'm so, so, so excited about. Also, you may or may not have figured out that's actually why I was in Holland. What was this? A couple of weeks ago now. Um, yeah, I, that's why I went to the nurseries. I was there doing some business stuff, shall we just say, um, taking a look around, seeing what was available and all the rest. So if you figure that out, congratulations. But that is how I was able to walk into those nurseries. I know I got a lot, a lot, a lot of questions from you guys saying, can you tell me the name of this nursery? How do I get there? You know, what are their prices like? And it's like, I can't tell you because you can't walk in there. It's not something that the general public can walk into. Like, not only that, but if I want to buy a plant from there, I can't, even I can't just buy a plant from a nursery. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I did a plant haul that you might see next week, actually, if my timings are all, you know, correct, because I'm not sure they are. I did a plant haul and I basically bought, you know, a plant, but I didn't buy a plant. I actually bought six of them because I had to buy a tray because <laughs> you have to have a business to shop there. So I now have one plant for me and then I can sell, you know, the other five. So that's kind of good, but that's kind of what I had to do to get the one plant. So yes, enough about the shop. You'll hear about that when the time is, you know, right, which won't be too long, to be honest with you, maybe two, two to four weeks maximum. I'm just kind of getting everything set up at the minute. I'm making a website, all the usual stuff that you would expect. So that's taking a little bit longer, but rest assured when it is ready, you will know about it. I will tell you everything you need to know if you want to. If not, obviously just ignore everything I'm saying. It, it's not dependent on anything. So I don't, yeah, I don't really know what the purpose of this video was. It was more to just generally apologize for, you know, the period of 
time where I did nothing but plant hauls because I didn't have time to do anything else. I didn't have time to research rare plant indexes or do videos like the Oblique video and stuff like that. Like I just, I didn't have the time. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I haven't been, you know, as contactable. So I apologize if this video just comes off as me sat here complaining about what a terrible time I'm having because honestly, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to tell you what's going on because I know a few of you have probably picked up on the fact that I'm just not necessarily as responsive as I used to be and all the rest. Like, there, I've got so much to do, guys. Like, it's not even funny. I have parcels to send to people. So I don't know if you know this, but I've actually taken cuttings of a couple of my plants. I took a cutting of my Philodendron Florida Ghost uh, a few weeks ago to send to Tropical Plant Addict and Harley G. Uh, they've been rooting away for ages and I should have sent them by now and I haven't sent them. So I need to get going with that. I've just got, I've just got so much to do. It's just, it's nuts. I need like, I need a diary or something where I can just refer to all of this. So yeah, I guess that's it. I guess the takeaway from this is I'm sorry I have not been as responsive. I'm sorry that I can't talk to all of you maybe as much as I could. I'm sorry if you're not necessarily enjoying the videos that I have put out or that I am putting out. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just kind of sorry for everything and I'm sorry if I come off tired in any video because sometimes, and this might not be noticeable to you, it might just genuinely be me, but sometimes I look at these videos and I'm like, damn, you look tired. Like, you just look like you're not happy. And I am. I'm just literally just tired. So I just wanted to communicate that to you because I don't want people thinking something that isn't true. I'd rather have you hear it from me. So bottom line, I'm very tired. Hopefully I will have a day off soon because I would love one. Um, I'm working on a lot of cool stuff. It will come to light soon. Uh, I will be moving soon, of course, as well. On that subject, if you'd like to see like a, what do you call them? Like a new house tour or something like that. I know a lot of YouTubers do them. If you're really interested to see, you know, the kind of the new space that I have, uh, you know, before I do a, a full on plant tour, like maybe in a couple of months or something. If you'd like to see that, then do let me know. And I can probably do it, to be honest, before I move any of my stuff in. Um, because there's quite a large gap on my move-in dates just for the way that everything's worked out. So if you're actually interested in that, then do let me know and I will probably film it and put it up. If you're still watching this, thank you very, very much for listening to me. Hopefully, you know, it, that wasn't too much of an incoherent babble. I suspect there are a lot of jump cuts in this. I know I said that they weren't going to be any. However, I can talk for England, so... <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Thank you very, very much for just coming in, pulling up a chair and listening to what I have to say. Uh, it's not necessarily important, but you know, here it is. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you in my next video, I suppose. Bye.